Rocco what do you think it needs to make it appealing to you? Because he says he likes this update, but it's still missing something. I'm curious what that something is for him. It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we get the hordes. The, those we see, but I'm just talking about the random spawns that used to happen. Yeah, like when you you went to an area, you know, basically what 9.0 released, you went to an area and there'd be zombies that would come and you kill like three or four of them and then they'd be gone, but you know, just a couple minutes later there'd be more again all of a sudden. And, you know, you didn't really clear them out. You weren't able to clear them out per se like you do now. Yeah, like in, in Alpha 9, I wouldn't be able to be out here just digging like this. Those no. four that came at me would be like constant. Yeah, we would have to right. be together basically. I would have to be, one would have to work while the other protects yeah. or I don't know. But since this 9.3 update, that's, it's really quieted down. <clears throat> so. so we actually look forward to the hordes now because at least it's something, <laughs> some zombies to yeah. see. No. You know, I can see clear on an area and there not being any zombies, but I don't know. I think they should still spawn more of them. Like, it should know that you've cleared out the area, so now it, it can start spawning them outside of that. Right, oh, yeah, these have respawned. Cool. Let's see. Well, okay, so Paco wants better AI and animation for the zombies. Oh, they're doing or just better. Yeah, they did actually have a third-person toggle. I don't know why they got rid of it. Yeah. And he wants vehicles, too. <laughs> a yeah, lot of that, people want vehicles. That's Well, if you're going to have a big space of nothing, or like yeah. you know, your roads and stuff, yeah, you definitely yeah. want to have a vehicle that you can repair and build. You yeah. maybe kind of add attachments to it. That'd be kind of neat. For sure, yeah, for sure. Especially on a, if you have random worlds, you want a vehicle to explore. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. And I guess they're going to get better animation for zombies because the Alpha 10 update is going to have mocap, so they make a big deal Ooh. about this whole mocap thing, <laughs> motion capture for the zombies. Yeah, so, I'm not holding I guess my that'll breath. improve animations. Yeah. I'm not holding my breath on that. Yeah, better animations would be nice, but I don't know. I think some gameplay stuff too is important. Yeah, Victor says when when he plays, he basically makes makes a chest and just keeps doing loot runs till he gets all the things he needs. That's interesting. So yeah. he likes the loot run of it. It's so kind of yeah. like the Fallout yeah. Three thing. Yeah. Kind of that kind of thing. We kind of like the base building. Oh, I like a little bit of of everything. Like you do some base building, and then maybe you know, when you get tired of that, you do like a loot run or I don't know. I like having options to be able to do the different yeah. things. Because people play this game in different ways, and that's what I like. I like about it is just there's the different ways to play it. So it makes it it's just interesting. That's for sure. <laughs> Well, if, if we find a desert biome yeah. in our explorations, that's yeah. for the Alright, everyone, everyone don't look. I'm doing something bad. I'm burning books. <laughs> I wonder if any of you catch that reference. I don't know. Okay. Oh, let's start that. Maybe some. the older individuals, I don't know. Much more logs. Oh, this is untouched pile of garbage. <laughs> Must have not been in this area. Oh yeah, here's some dirt. Dirt to dig. Okay. Oh, wow, well, that's right. Yeah, that's the other thing too, is, is all this fertile dirt so close nearby. You, know, you yep. don't need to dig up a riverbed or nothing. It's already nope. here. There's just dirt piles all over the place. <laughs> Victor got the book burning reference. Yes, right on. <laughs> well, that's because you're smart, Victor. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't expect more. I wouldn't expect any different from you. Yeah. I'd be surprised if you didn't know actually then. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, that's what happens when you get 100%. The expectation is higher. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly disruptive. That's what's happening to us. We go to uncovered areas, and uh, then we get zombie spawns. But yeah. then you clear out that area, and then they don't spawn anymore. Yeah, exactly. So then the and same hear, behavior occurs. Of oh, zombies, there's zombies coming by. I hear, I hear some. Yeah. What side are they on? I wonder. They're coming from the the north uh, east, kind of north from that corner. East. Over here. Okay. Yeah. And they're kind of hitting that corner, and some are going this way, and some are going the other way. Yeah. That's cool. I'm glad that we still have the same people that we were talking with, so that's good. Yeah, so yeah it glad. looks like most people are back now, so... I'm glad you guys all came back. That's awesome. Um, Let's see what we got. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. They are what? staying on each other's heads. Oh, ah. Okay. So I might have to make the wall one higher. Uh, shoot. <laughs> Well, that's fine. That's a new change, right? You never had to yeah. before. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. It looks like they're pretty much all dead anyway. So I'm gonna go out. Yeah. Yeah. There's only a few, and there wasn't that many. Yeah. I'm gonna go out and loot them then. Yeah. Because these oh, ones here. Open. Yeah. These two here. One. This one. This lady was dancing on this other guy's head. So she was actually at the level, the top level. Ah. So that's why the spiders are getting up there when there's a lot of them that hit the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I might need to be one higher. Which we'll okay. do at some point later on. Yeah. This is working for the most part. There's yeah, only one time that they came over the wall like that. Yeah, and if they come over, whatever, we just take care of yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it's no big deal. Because when they hit the door, I let them in anyways and start killing them yeah. because they come through yeah. the door. Yeah. That seems like to be a good strategy, too. I think my 10-year-old laptop is at the same technology level that those con new consoles are at, so... I'm... Yeah. Exactly. I'm not too impressed. No. And then the backward compatibility, I don't think they have it in theirs anymore. Yeah. Well, story games aren't as immersive as they are... Um, if you like, if basically, if you... You know, same reason why you'd watch TV or watch a movie. You just want to, you know, get some story. You want to, you yeah. know, you want to, you know, sit back and have a story being told to you. And that's what those games do, right? They're just telling you a story. But yeah, it's true for true immersion. You need an open world game where you can go anywhere or do anything. Yeah. Exactly. And that's the kind of games I really like. Like Fallout 3 is like that. You know, this, you know, obviously this game is like that. Yeah, I like I like games that are just basically open world, even like Skyrim is like that. So I I, I enjoy that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. You can still have a story, but you allow you to do whatever you want in that world. Exactly. And I need to go eat. And so you know, you know, for me, immersion is not necessarily the graphics, but the gameplay of it, like. Yeah, you know, that's why it bugs me that I don't know more about the PvP system and life is futile because it's. I like the grindiness of it, but it's almost too much it seems. So that's why I, I want to see other videos and when I, I watch them and it's I don't know all I see them well, is digging the dirt. <laughs> well, it's grindy because it's supposed to be an MMO. Yeah. Ooh. Better go get some something to drink. No, fair enough, but... Well, actually, I have water on me, wouldn't I? But if it takes so long to kind of get, like, a basic you know, house of your own, kind of like a homestead thing to to get that all done, then it's, I don't know, it's just it's crazy. I can see you having to be, like, a grandmaster to build, like, the castles and stuff, which makes sense. But just a simple homestead you should be able to do, you know... Like, I guess... It depends what you mean, immersion over gameplay, Desert Ninja. Yeah. In open world games, basically the gameplay is the immersion, right? Basically, here's the world, go do what you want in it. There are stories sometimes, like depending like Skyrim, Fallout 3, they have stories yeah. hidden, but you have to run around the world to find them. You're not led by the hand. Yeah. And that's more what I, you know, what, what I think an immersive game should be. It's just, there's stuff to find, but you've got to find it. Yeah. 
Yeah, there was this uh, yeah, stupid me, of course. There was this sale of a game way back um, called uh, Kenshi, which I bought. And that's an interesting concept, but it's just taken them so long to develop, which is too bad. But I like the, it's an open world, right? But it's kind of like a squad base RTS in it. Oh, so yeah. you, so, yeah, so you have a group of people, and then eventually you can build like a village. And, um, as well, it's kind of open world, so you can do what you want. But they need to add more things into the world so you can interact with it a little bit more. Right now you can just run around, kill stuff, and build your your kind of town and have multiple people, but yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, the fact that I, I would ex think that's what people would expect from Fallout 4 is that it's still be an open world, and you know, maybe they'll give you the one main storyline, but you have to find every, all the other storylines that are there. Yeah. Yeah. That definitely. Oh, I think that's what people would expect. If they did anything different, I don't know if people would like that. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even know that they were making a Fallout 4. But they've, Bethesda may have done crazier things, but they've, with with their um, Elder Scroll games, they've pretty much stayed true to the, to the formula, right? Yeah. They really haven't changed the formula. They might have changed some mechanics or graphics or whatever, but the formula has always been the same. Yeah. So I'm, I'm expecting Fallout 4 to be the same. Yeah. Same. You know, maybe they've changed some mechanics. Like, they, maybe... I wouldn't mind if they took crafting out of those games, because yeah. the crafting in those games is pretty useless anyways. Huh. So, or at least make it more, more useful. It's just... No, it's just something to take your... You know, make you take more time playing the game, I guess. <laughs> more huh. of a time sink. Because you, you can find pretty much everything, or buy right, anything that right. you need, so... Yeah, I don't know, I like that crafting system in uh, New Vegas. They improved upon it from Fallout 3. Okay. Yeah, crazy. Okay, so... Look at this. Oh, this lighting, oh yeah, it's changing. It's, it's coming into daytime. It's gonna get darker for a bit, and then it's gonna. Must have enough. pulled that off a website somewhere. Total, total hatred. Put in a big description about tungsten. <laughs> you can scavenge by destroying tungsten doors, but I don't think I've ever seen a tungsten door either. They're always the metal doors. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're noobs in that department. <laughs> No, but deal. then again, a lot of times information changes, right? So yeah, I know websites what one, might be out of date. I know at one point you could break the safes for it. Yeah, right? yeah, safes used to give you scrap tungsten, but but now they you make the, they're made out of iron, so they give you iron. Okay. Exactly. Like the first t indication I knew you could get that in the ground was in Alpha 8 when we were playing and I, I made an underground base and I actually found one piece down there. So really? that's how that's when I realized, yeah, I showed it to you. That's when oh, yeah, I realized yeah. it, that you found it underground. And it was at Bedrock level 2 that I found it. That's cool. How to get lead out of a bullet to make a mold. Oh, do you mean how to, yeah, how to get the tip out of the bullet? That, that's where the <laughs> books, like Reloading Weekly, come into play. You read one yeah. of those, and then you can take yeah, you apart. You need to read the right book so you can take it apart, yeah. yeah. But that's true. Before before even that mechanic was in, it never occurred to most people to put it on, on the other side of the... The right side. Like, to take a, a gun or a bullet apart, uh, you have to actually put it on... Here, I'll show you. You have to put it on this side. It's like you're right? deconstructing you it. it. Yeah. And uh, when that first came up, that no, no one knew that to, that you could do that. Yeah. Because that you never needed to do, do that before. Yeah. So yeah, that was yeah. It took a while for to figure that one out. Yeah. yeah that was fun though. <laughs> 
And now you do that with just about everything to see what can be deconstructed. <laughs> yeah. And then when you can't, you deconstruct certain items, you go, oh, <laughs> Like flashlights. <laughs> yeah. At least some scrap Actually, metal. You never have tried putting a flashlight on that side, though. Who knows? Maybe you can. No, I have. I've tried. Oh, you have? Oh, okay. Yeah. Another plot dug out, basically. All right, Desert Ninja, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks, Desert Ninja, See for later. Hang, you know, for hanging out. That's awesome. <sighs> yeah, Tungsten Door is only available through Creative Menu if Cheat Mode has been activated. There yeah. you go. Fourteen times three it's as I fear is forty-two. I need forty-two rebar segments. Forty-three. So I have one short here. <laughs> is it very many? Oh yeah, it's actually a decent sized horde. Oh. Oh, I hate these fuckers. They bob their head too much. There we go. And then I just go for headshot, uh, body shots on these. Oops. Okay, maybe. Actually, just go body shots and see the die one. Hit. On oh, what guys. the hell? I'm bleeding. <laughs> he must have hit, hit you just as you got him. Now this is the seven-day horde. That's fine. <laughs> hey, Luna virus. I don't know. I wouldn't say we're nuts because uh, we haven't had any problems. Somewhat. And here come the crawlers, of course. On cue. <laughs> yeah. yeah but... <laughs> I can wait. Oops. Oh, hey, Mr. Crawler, I see oh, you. Come on. Can I be missing? There we go. These guys have nothing. Stingy bastards. Yeah. Cool. That was good. <laughs> hey, there you go, problem solved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright on. It wasn't that big a horde, but it wasn't bad. Mm -hmm.